In England, just before the war, one of the most important political issues was the right of women to vote. It was the suffragettes who led the fight. First, they tried peaceful protest. But when this didn't work, they turned to violence, burning down and bombing buildings. The British government started a campaign to silence the suffragettes. They were sent to jail and forced to endure all the humiliation of prison life. Seven months before the outbreak of war, one of the suffragette leaders, Sylvia Pankhurst, was sent to prison for breaking a window. She, like many others, went on hunger strike and was force-fed. I heard footsteps approaching outside my cell. I was strangled with fear, yet alert to every sound. A crowd of wardresses filled the doorway. They flung me on my back, on the bed, and held me down firmly by shoulders and ankles. Then the doctors came stealing in. A metal instrument pressed against my gums, cutting the flesh. They were trying to get a tube down my throat. I braced myself to resist that terrible pain. They got it down, I suppose, though I was unconscious of anything then, save a mad revolt of struggling.